Now, this is an artist who was around for a while, created mm -hmm. comic books, but unfortunately, we won't be seeing a lot more from him. So that's that's kind of sad, mm -hmm. you know. Why? Because... But, but, but also, maybe it also says why we're paying a lot of attention. Because... Zheng Wen. Who died in 2017. He's, he's dead. He's dead. He died. Yeah. Was one of Taiwan's most important comic book artists. Yes, he is. That's right. <laughs> but unfortunately, well, he's still important. Yes, yes, But he yes. just won't be producing anything more. Yeah, so we can say someone is important even though they're not around, right? We could say, of course, Da Vinci is an important yes, artist. Yes, yes. Was he important when he was alive? Probably, mm -hmm. but you could even say he is more important now. He's more famous now. So he was one of Taiwan's most important comic book artists, and I would say he still is in many ways. So let's talk about this word comic, book, comic, and then we'll get back to the article. Mm -hmm. 好，所以呢，今天我们的文章呢，就是要讲郑问老师。OK， 他是台湾非常重要的一位漫画家哦。那漫画呢，我们就可以用刚刚讲，比方说 comic book， 或是呢 comic 这两个字呢，都可以用来指漫画。嗯、mm、哼 -hmm. ，And he was kind of what we would call a pioneer or a groundbreaker， the first person to do something quite important. It says he was the first Taiwanese comic artist to have his work published in Japan. And Hong Kong. Hmm, wow, that is pretty very... groundbreaking, pioneering, or important stuff. Taiwan, of course, is a great country with lots of great artists, but in the comic book world, it's not quite Japan. <laughs> you know, that's where a lot of the big comics are from. In the same way, you know, Ang Lee was one of the first directors from Taiwan to be famous in yes. Hollywood. There are many other great directors, but being the first is pretty special. And if you're an artist, What you might be the first at is to, uh, sorry, a writer or a comic book artist. The first thing you might be the, that you might do is to publish mm -hmm. something. Publish this verb basically means to make a book, to make print and put out in the stores a book. The writer will write the book,、mm -hmm. but then they'll often work with a company, often called a publishing company, to actually make the book. Print it out, put it in paper, stick it in boxes, send it out to the stores where people can buy it. If you are a published author, if a company publishes your book, you're doing pretty well. OK， 所以刚刚 Mike 解释了这个这个单词哦 ，publish 这个动词呢，就表示出版或是发行哦。我们可以说呢，像这个郑问老师呢 ，published his comics in Japan and Hong Kong， 在日本跟香港哦发行出版了他的漫画。那课文呢，在这边最开始看到这个句子 ，the first Taiwanese comic artist to have his work published。在这句句子里面呢，我们关系代名词的先行词里面含有叙述，所以叙述呢就是第一个、最后一个、第二个等等。比方说，我们这边看到 the first。或是 the last, OK， 那呢这边就表示说是第一个，或是最后一个，或是第几个怎么样的人。那呢我们在后面呢就加上 to 不定词，再加上原形动词，表示呢他是第一个做这件事情的人。我们可以看一下例句哦，我们可以说呢 ，the last person to get to class should close the door。最后一位走进教室的人呢，记得要关门哦。那呢在这边我们也可以把 to 加上原形动词，改成 that 来引导一个子句了。我们可以说呢 ，the last person that gets to class should close the door。除了叙述之外呢，我们也可以使用最高级的形容词。比方说，我们可以说 ，the blue whale is the biggest animal that lives in the ocean。OK， 或者是我们也可以再把它换成一次不定词 to 加上原形动词的句型 ，the blue whale is the biggest animal to live in the ocean。So, a real pioneer, the first Taiwanese artist, comic book artist, published in Japan and Hong Kong. And what were they publishing? What was this artist's style? It says his most well-known works were his, were his martial arts comics,、ah, mm -hmm. <laughs> karate, things like that. Those are, of course, very popular、yes. in Taiwan, this part of the world, and all around the world, but especially. In Asia, and so these were his most well-known comics. If something is well-known, this adjective basically means it's popular.、Mm -hmm. At least a lot of people have heard of it. It's famous. That's another thing we might say. So it gives you the idea that maybe he made comic books about other things. Yes, you know about racing cars or spaceships or superheroes or whatever. But the ones that were most popular, most well-known, most famous. 
were the ones about martial arts, yes. about kung fu and things like that. So well-known just means famous and or popular. For example, poker is a well-known card game. Mm -hmm. you, hear, you hear the word poker, yeah. most people think card game since it's so well-known. Okay, well-known 这个形容词呢, 就是形容众所周知的, 著名的, 大家都认识的, 那你可以在well-known后面加上to加上人哦, 表示呢, 被这个人所熟知, 被这些人所熟知, 那你也可以加上for加上事物, 就表示因为这个事情, 因为这个东西而闻名而著名哦, 比方说我们可以讲说, This restaurant is well-known for its excellent service, okay, 这个餐厅呢, 很有名是因为呢, 那这个他作品里面最著名的呢，就是这个 martial arts comics. Okay, martial arts 这个字呢，就是表示武术哦. Okay, 那我们这边这个这个 martial art comics 指的呢，就是武术武侠漫画. All right. Well, personally, I don't think I've ever seen any of. 正问. Comics, so I, this is very useful for me. Let's learn about the style yes. of the comics for those of us who've never seen them before. We read, they were drawn in a style that mixed traditional Chinese brush painting with lively colors. Yes. Oh, very interesting. So quite different from very your typical different. Batman or Spider-Man kind yeah, of look. Yeah, yeah. Very, very interesting. Traditional Chinese brush painting with lively colors. If something is lively, it's full of life. It's energetic. Lively colors would be like bright oranges and yellows and greens and pinks and things like that. Not sort of quiet, soft, sad colors like brown or gray. A lively person will be full of energy and lots of fun to be around. Except if you want to take a nap, because then they're like really <laughs> excited. So lively is excited, energetic, full of life. For example, the circus featured talented performers and lively clowns. You don't like those tired clowns. <laughs> no, that's no, that's no fun. You want someone to be lively in the circus, to be full of fun and energy. Okay, so we see lively this expression, it means she's very we can say she may be 80, but she's still lively. She's still very lively. In the text, we use lively as a color, so we should use it as a color. So we should use it as a mix. A with B. Okay, 例如呢, 我们可以说, to make this drink, we have to mix this fruit with milk. Okay, 要调出这样的饮料呢, Okay, Chen was born in December 1958, mm -hmm. and his first comic series was published in 1983. Wow, so this is going back quite a long yes. time. <laughs> All right, so he was born in 1958, first published in 1983, so he would have been like 25 years old approximately. This was his first comic book series, okay? A series is basically a set of things or a collection of things that are related in some kind of way. When we're talking about a series of books or a series of movies or a TV series, yes. it's different parts of the same big, long story. I believe there were, what, seven books in the Harry Potter series? Yes, And yes. eight movies, right? So they begin, they end, things happen, things change, but they're related. There's a sort of a long line of story, yes. a long running idea that goes through all of a series. So there is some relationship, but each one will be different. There'll be different adventures in each one, but a lot of the same characters come back all the time in a series. Okay, so series这个名词呢，就可以叫做这个系列丛书。比方说，我们一整套的书，或是呢，它也可以指这个电视系列节目。好比最近大家都在看这个《延禧攻略》哦，这个《延禧一言》就是七十集。这时候我们就可以使用
All right. So being a famous comic book artist in、mm -hmm. Taiwan is great.、Yes. Congratulations. Good for you. But imagine <laughs> getting asked to work in a place like Japan. Imagine being a Taiwanese actor who gets offered a job in Hollywood. Wow, that's a big <laughs> step up. If you're a Taiwanese baseball player, great. But if they say come to America and play,、yeah. wow, you must be pretty, pretty amazing.、Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what happened. It says later, Chen was hired by a Japanese comics company. It's、hey. like the Hollywood of comics, which published <laughs> his series Heroes of the Eastern Zhou Dynasty. Yes. So they saw it. It probably came out in Taiwan or yes, Hong Kong yes, in yes. Chinese. But they're like, we like it. Bring it over here. Let's change it to Japanese, yeah, we'll and we'll sell it. This one. That's right. We'll publish and sell it in Japan too. So you're doing something good.、Mm -hmm. All right. Next, we read after 2000, Chen's ambitions led him to make computer games、mm. and Peely puppet shows too. So, like a lot of artists, he was really good at one thing. He became successful at one thing: comic books. But then he had ideas that kind of said, "Well, this would not maybe be a good book, but a video game or、yes. a puppet show, or I could turn this into a movie or something like that." So that's what he did. Obviously,、yes. he had a lot of different ambitions. Ambition is basically about wanting to do something great, having a goal. Okay, an ambition. When you're talking about an ambition, that would be your goal, your objective, what you're trying to do. My ambition is to study hard and get into the best university in the country. Well, that's a very good ambition. If we say a person has ambition, that means that person has a lot of great things that they want to do. Could be more than one. I want to go to the best school in the country. I want to start my own company before I'm 30 and be president of Taiwan by the time I'm 45 years old. Those are my ambitions. I have a lot of ambition. So both of them are about trying to reach that goal. Okay. As an adjective, we could also use this one. It's quite common. Ambitious, the person who wants to do great, wants to become president. That person is ambitious. They have a lot of ambitions. For example, Denise took acting classes because she had an ambition to be a movie star. That was her big goal. OK， 所以呢，这边我们看到 ambition 这个名词呢，就是表示抱负或者志向。那这句课文里面呢，我们也看到 lead to 的用法。我们呢可以说 lead somebody to do something， 就表示呢导致引导这个人做了什么事情。例如呢，我们可以讲说 her illness led her to quit her job。OK， 她的这个生病哦，她的病情呢，导致呢她必须要来辞去她的工作。那这个 lead 呢，你也可以使用 cause。比方说，我们可以刚刚的例句换成 cause。Her illness caused her。To quit her job, OK. 但是 cause 呢，跟 lead 比起来呢 ，cause 通常是指不好的事情，有点不得不怎么样的感觉。使用上我们要特别留意喽。So mixing styles, turning his stories into puppet、yes. shows and video games. This is a, quite a very talented artist, I would say. And Chen's work has influenced many other artists.、Mm. This is what artists will do. Their work will influence. A younger artist will see that and go, Wow. I really like that. You won't copy it, but you'll take some of those ideas and then make it your own style. That's how artists will influence each other. And then we read he drew classic stories in a modern style,、mm -hmm. showing what Taiwanese comics could achieve. So he took some of those great old myths and legends. From Chinese history, but he updated the style、yes. and the art, made them fresh again for young people. He really did achieve a lot. To achieve, this is a verb. It's basically to reach a goal. Okay, remember I talked about an ambition as、yes. being a goal, something you want to do. Well, if you do that thing, if you get into that great school, if you start that company or become president or whatever your ambition was, you have achieved. Your ambition. You have reached it. You have gotten that thing that you were trying to get. Bravo! Well done. Pat on the back. <laughs> it took Vincent five years of hard work to achieve his goal of opening a restaurant. Opening、mm -hmm. a restaurant was his ambition, and after five years of hard work, he achieved that goal.、Okay. It's good. Have you been to the restaurant? 
Uh, I never. I shoot. Delicious. Really? Yeah. I will sure make a reservation. Yeah. <laughs> 好的，所以呢，在课文里面我们看到 achieve 这个动词，它呢就表示完成、实现。比方说呢，我们可以说 achieve your goal， 达到你的目标，达成你的目标。那它的名词呢 ，achievement 就表示呢成就。比方说呢，我们很常听到 a sense of achievement， 成就感。Wow, that's pretty impressive.、Hmm. But here is something even more amazing. Now, if Chen was a, a painter or a sculptor, you might not be surprised to see his work in a in a museum. But comic book artists?、Oh. How many comic book artists get put into a museum along with you know Picasso and Da Vinci and、mm -hmm. those guys? And how about the most famous museum in the country? Well, that's what happened earlier this year. The National Palace Museum, the Gugong, honored him by holding an exhibition of his work. That's right, a special Chen show, just his stuff, right in there next to the green cabbage and the pork stone and all that stuff. Probably in a separate building because that's where they often put an、yes. exhibition. An exhibition is a show, but kind of a special show of a bunch of related things. It could be a trade exhibition where all computer people come with their new products、yes. and they talk business、yes. and sign contracts. Could be a video game exhibition、e. where the newest <laughs> games are and the fans can go and maybe meet some of the artists or programmers or the singers who do the songs. They see the games, play the games, buy. The games. It's all about games, 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 games. <laughs> An art exhibition will probably be focused on one artist、mm -hmm. or maybe one style of art.、Mm -hmm. And if you're interested, you can go there, and there's tons of cool stuff to see. If you're not interested, you can still go, and maybe you'll learn something new about something you've never seen before. So exhibitions are just big shows of a bunch of stuff. Put on for the public to come and check out. For example, there is a video game exhibition here next weekend. Would you like to go? Yes, of course. I think you have to go. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So we see exhibition this word. This noun means to show or show. We can also use it to mean an exhibition. For example, an exhibition or an exposition. Okay. So his brother exhibit this word can be used as a noun to show or show. For example, we can say he will exhibit his paintings. Okay. He will exhibit his paintings. 做那当成名词的时候呢，这个字也可以当名词哦。它呢就表示展品。比方说，在我们的这个 exhibition， 在展览会里面呢，你可能会看到这个标识，它会讲说 ，Do not touch the exhibit. OK， 请勿触摸这些展示品。Now, for a comic book artist to be、mm -hmm. in the museum, especially the National Palace Museum, you might think that's pretty special. I thought it was pretty special,、yes. and apparently, <laughs> it was really special. It says it, the exhibition, was the museum's first display of comic books.、Mm, lots Show of first. That's right, lots of first, showing Chen's importance to Taiwanese culture. That's right. They've had many other kinds of exhibitions. But Taiwanese produced comic books. Nope, this was the first one. This display was the first time it was out there for the people to see at this museum. A display is basically just when you put out a whole bunch of stuff for people to look at. If you ever go into a store and you see those shelves covered with stuff, or there's like a glass box with all the different things laid out. That's a display in a in a supermarket. The fruit displays will often be very colorful, and the fruit、yes. will look fresh and clean. And it's all laid out. It's laid out so your eyes can see it, and probably so you can touch it eventually. Stores do this, museums do this, because you know we do our first thinking and our first shopping with our eyes. For example, this department store always has special window displays、mm. for Christmas. So one of the windows it normally just has shoes and. Purses in it or whatever <laughs> for Christmas. They'll have like Santa and little moving reindeer and all sorts of Christmas stuff in the Christmas window display. OK， 所以 display 这个字呢，就跟我们刚刚讲 exhibition 很像，它当名词就表示展览、陈列。OK， 跟我们刚刚讲的 exhibition 非常类似。那 display 呢，还可以指这个表演。比方说呢，我们可以说 a firework display， 烟火秀。那这个字呢，它也可以当成动词。OK， 当成动词的时候就表示陈列的意思，或者是我们可以说展出。比方说呢，像我们刚刚说，在店里面会看到很多展出。The cakes were displayed on the table。这些蛋糕呢，陈列在桌上，在桌上面来展示。OK， 所以呢，我们看到了郑问呢是全球第一位漫画家走进故宫展出，证明了。他对台湾文化的影响哦。郑问 is、uh, like the first 
very first comic book artist that has ever had an exhibition in Gukong. There you go. So if you're a comic book fan, you must know about this artist. And let's also hope that he continues to influence and inspire yes. young comic book artists here in Taiwan. He may have been the first to have his art on display at the Gugong, but hopefully he's not the last. All right, guys, that's it for the article. But we do have our chat question right now, so come back for that.